Cecil Field, just outside Jacksonville, Florida. The finish line for this FA-18 Hornet, truck nearly 2,000 miles from retirement in Arizona to a second chance with the Marines. Starting here in Florida with Boeing's C-plus program. Squadron commanders are challenged to train their young pilots. They look out at their ramp and when they're expecting to see 10 or 12 aircraft, they may just have two or three aircraft at that. That is very difficult to uh, train the young pilots with. So that's what's so exciting about this program that Boeing and the, the Marine Corps teamed up to do. Bill Maxwell spent 25 years in the Marines flying F-A-18s. I, I delivered a number of them out to Davis Moth and Air Base, uh, never to expect to see them fly again. And now we're bringing them back to life. And this is an exciting program because of that. Step one, unload. Craning seven and a half tons of jets safely to the ground. We're good there. The Hornets already saw combat duty, then rested in Arizona's harsh conditions for years before arriving at Cecil Field. They need some TLC when they get her. A little love and care. You just want to make sure that uh, you test all the systems. So every Hornet is inspected, damages are repaired, <laughs> and then upgraded. The plus in C+. We're actually upgrading communication systems, radar systems, IFF systems, CIT systems, upgrading the, uh, the ejection seat, putting in the joint helmet modification. There's quite a few modifications going into this. It's pretty extensive. So the Marines will get the best Hornets available for the missions ahead. I've, I've been out there. I know these guys fly seven, eight hour missions over country. And uh, you always want to make sure that the pilot makes it back safely. He's got the best, best product that he could possibly have.